Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in one of the interview conducted by TCS. The candidate had around four years of experience working as a Java developer. And apart from Java, he was having knowledge of Python this API with Spring Boot and he was having knowledge of basic architecture of microservices as well. When the candidate solved this problem statement and answered most of the questions, he was selected in, he was offered a CTC of 14 LPA. Now let me tell you what was the problem statement and how you solved it using Java stream APIs. So he was given a list of post objects which fields like user ID, likes and content. And he was asked to calculate the total likes for each user and then filter out the users whose total likes are more than 50. So if you consider this list, I should filter out the users or calculate the total likes for each user and then filter out the users whose total likes are more than 50. So my output is showing me two users with user ID 3 and user ID as 1. So we don't have user ID as 2 because if you see the total likes for this user are 30 plus 10 which becomes 40. That is less than 50. So we should ignore that user. Okay, guys, so let us see how to solve this my Java stream APIs. So we have again started conducting mock interviews. So if you guys are interested, you can fill out the form in the description and then we'll connect for the okay. mock interview. Okay, guys, so let's get started. So here you can see I have declared class post and inside that I have declared three fields user ID, likes, and content. Now let me generate get setters, which will be helpful to get and set the value for this field cell. Right click, select all fields and generate the results. Next thing is I need to create the constructor to construct the values for the fields. I'm going to use generate constructor from fields and click on OK. And I'll simply copy this and paste it here and we'll remove all the fields that will get ready for the constructor as well. OK, now I'm done with the creation of post class. Next thing, I have created another class, which is post analysis. And inside that, I have written my method, which is going to be starting point for our program execution. Now, let me declare a list of post objects. So I'm going to use list from java.util. This is going to be list of posts. So I'm going to make it a list of posts. Now. Then it is going to be declared a variable. And this variable will hold the list from the problem set. So I'm going to use Java arrays dot as list to declare this list and I'll copy all these posts from this problem statement and I'll paste it here. Okay, so now I'm done with the creation of the list. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to use stream APIs to calculate the total likes for each user. So here I'm going to use posts dot stream function to convert this into stream and then I'm going to use collect function where we have a facility or we have a utility which will be used to group by the <coughs> objects by a particular field. So I'm going to use collectors dot grouping by function this grouping function takes a parameter which will be used to group the objects by a field. So this is going to be post colon here user. So we are going to group these list elements by user ID. And next thing is I need to calculate the total sum of all the lines. So I'm going to use again collectors dot summing int function to calculate the total sum for the specified field. So we need to get the sum for the like. So I'm going to use like as a parameter to calculate the sum. So I'll get the sum with user ID. So for each user, I'll get the total things. Next thing is I need to filter out the users whose likes are more than 50. So this will give me a map 
So I will get all the entries from this map using entry set function and then I'll convert this into stream and then I'll use filter function to filter the users whose <coughs> likes count is more than 50. So here it is going to be entry search at entry bar get value should be then 50. Now I will get all the users whose likes count is more than 50. And then finally, I'll collect this into a list cell queues collectors, but to list function. So this will give me the result into a list. And this list is going to hold list of, so this is going to be my and okay so i'll just declare it as my entry so tapping a c i got entry of type integer comma entry i'll make it as result okay now i got the result Next thing is, I just need to bring this list. So, what I'll do, I'll use result for each. And I need to iterate over all these entries. So, what I'll do, I'll use lambda expression inside this. I'll use this thing. Dot out print and then to print result. And here I'm going to mention user type as the entry dot get key. So this is nothing but the key. User ID is nothing but the key in that entry. And then we have total likes as the value. So to make it a total likes. That is going to be the value for that particular key. So it is going to be entry the get value now i am done with the writing code so let's right click and direct so you can see for user id 1 i'm getting total access 70 for user id 3 i'm getting total access so okay guys so that's it from this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe also, if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, you can connect us at practice lab23 at the Thank you. Bye bye.